Your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. It's been a wet one out there for us across eastern Iowa. Estimated rainfall from uh, radar shows uh, some heavier swaths of rain moving through the Cedar Rapids area up towards uh, Dubuque as well, with the airport actually getting in on heavier rainfall than uh, Dubuque proper. Lighter rainfall totals across our northwestern zone. As we head through the rest of the evening, folks headed home, maybe headed out and about for dinner. Take it slow. With all that extra rain today, I want to note some changes that you may not think about. Normally, uh, when you're driving down the road, obviously it takes a little bit of time to stop, about 80 feet. On a wet road, it takes a little bit longer. We're used to that, about 160 feet, so twice as long. Well, when you have wet leaves, it almost acts as like a layer of ice or a thin layer of snow. It takes much longer for you to stop on a road with wet leaves. You may have heard about this sometimes over the summer with grass clippings and things. So with all those leaves falling here over the last weekend and uh, over the course of the rainfall we've had, Definitely take it easy on the roadways and allow extra time and space. Rain and storms still highlighted here on your first alert. We'll see them kind of coming to an end at some point this evening. Next couple of hours, still some spotty showers around the area, though. Early tomorrow morning, main cold front pushes through. That brings up our wind, and that will also uh, bring another round of showers. Gusts for us here through the night into tomorrow in that 25 or even 35 mile per hour range. We'll show you here a live pinpoint Doppler radar. Again, a couple bands of showers moving through headed towards the Iowa City area, Cedar Rapids, and another band off to the north as well. We'll continue to keep those around through the evening, but much more scattered than we had this afternoon and this morning. Early tomorrow Tomorrow morning here we are at 3 a.m. That's where the main cold front starts to push through and we could see another round of showers and thunderstorms there. By the time you're getting up and getting going tomorrow morning, even more isolated than that and chances wind down even more through the rest of the day tomorrow. Overnight temperatures widely varying for us as well. Farther to the south around 60, farther to the north only at 43 for Charles City. That's because that cold front starts to make its way through the area here tonight. So this is what that does to our temperatures tomorrow. As you're getting up and getting going early in the morning, Look for temperatures around the 50s. We'll actually hit our high probably uh, in the very early morning hours before that. And then temperatures continue falling. 40s for tomorrow afternoon. This time tomorrow, it'll feel like the 40s and 30s around freezing as we head through the night tomorrow night. So big changes headed our way thanks to that cold front. Here's how that looks. Again, that high tomorrow, most of us won't be awake to feel it. Uh, look for temperatures to fall to freezing by tomorrow night. 40s for high Saturday and Sunday. As we head into next week, keeping things pretty cool, at least for the start. We do start to see temperatures rebounding. That's at least some good news, but it is going to be a chilly, bone chilling, maybe you could call it, <laughs> Halloween for us there with those temperatures hanging out in the upper 30s for highs and yes you do yeah, see I, know, I, know. I really at. wanted to ignore that's it all I'm looking yes at. you do <laughs> see a few snowflakes there the the main reason those are there again a few scattered showers around for us and temperatures do dip down to that freezing point right um, early Sunday morning so could you see a few snowflakes flying yeah is it going to accumulate highly unlikely for us okay. in eastern Iowa because think about it, temperatures today around that 70 degree mark. The ground mm -hmm. is yeah, just very warm, warm for us. Yeah. Uh, Western Iowa, if you're doing any traveling, maybe to Dakotas, Nebraska for the weekend, maybe a different story. A uh, little bit cooler there and some more accumulating snow is possible. Oof. But here, I think we're, we're, we'll make it through we're one good. more time. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Won't Jan. Last forever, though. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know. United Auto Workers have come to attend.